Hello and welcome to an episode of What's in Store Fridays. My name is Mark Cockrell and I'm the manager at the gift shops here at the Culture and Heritage Museums. And we're gonna show you some items we have in the store as well as show you some quick entertaining tips. Uh, we got some new items in to the store. Um, for my show, I went down to Atlanta and did a little buying and we got some really cool puzzles in. Uh, let me show you these moon puzzles. They're shaped like the moon. They're based on uh, photography from NASA. Uh, they're easy 100 piece puzzle. I say easy, it isn't razzle, but um, we have the moon. Uh, but these are really cool. And we also have Mars. But this is great photography and they, they made really good puzzles out of these guys. We've got these really cool space playing cards. They come in a tin, a really nice packaging. The packaging looks really good. They come in a nice heavy tin. But these two are also based on the um, images uh, from NASA. So we have the space one and some from Mars. Okay, but these make great little gifts. We have the ultimate book of space. This is a really nice book. Uh, when you open it up, it's got pop-ups in it, a lot of information about space. Uh, it's geared toward the younger crowd, uh, but this is a very educational book and it's called The Ultimate Book of Space. One other item I wanted to show you is uh, the Spacebound Lenticular Puzzle. Um, this is a 300-piece puzzle, uh, but once it's put together, it has that nice 3D effect. Come in and check out our items. Uh, we have some great space items. Okay, today we're gonna to show you how to make a really easy trifle um, for dessert. It's summertime and the peaches are really good this season. Uh, we're gonna make a little peach trifle. Um, originally, the trifle, the trifle dates back to the 1500s. There's documentation for the trifle. And trifle just means uh, unnecessary, frivolous. Um, but what they would use was um, like stale cake, things they wanted to reuse, but it wasn't really good. So they would pour alcohol on stale bread to soak it up. Uh, so that's how it sort of started. Today, we're gonna to show you a modern way to do it, an easy way to this do it. This is a standard a trifle standard. bowl uh, that you can use. Uh, what you would normally do would be line it with sponge cake, pour some alcohol uh, to soak up in the uh, cake, put some fruit on top and then some pudding. Uh, but what we're gonna do is to make it fun for a party. If you don't wanna make a whole lot, I've got these really cute little miniature trifle bowls and I'm gonna show you how to make a uh, peach trifle today. You can either make your pound cake um, and your pudding from scratch or custard is really good, but an easy way to do it that I'm gonna show you today is just to buy store-bought items just to, so we can show you how to, to make it. So first you wanna do is get your pound cake and cube it up. And I've got some cubed up already here. And just put it in the bottom of your little trifle bowls. These are the cutest little trifle bowls. I got these as a gift. All right, so you've got your pound cake in there. And remember, they used to soak it with alcohol. So what goes good with the peaches is triple sec. It's like an orange liqueur. Uh, any kind of orange flavored liqueur would work. Uh, but you know, also we sell in the store this peach syrup that you just could drizzle over top as well. And this, this makes a really good trifle. But all you want to do is just sprinkle. You don't want to really saturate it too terribly much. Your pudding, I made some pudding here and just put it over top. This is really easy, but it's really fun. But people like to get their own little dessert. And then I've got some of these really good China Pearl um, peaches. Uh, and I just sort of cube them up. You can leave them halved if you're using them for the big trifle dish, but I like to cube it up. And just put your peaches on top. But these China Pearls are really sweet. Got them down at Cotton Hill Farms. Okay, and then once you get that, I've got a little bit of this left. I'm gonna pour it right on top. Just a little drizzle. People will wonder what that really good flavor is in the five bowls of cream. And, and then just give it a little leaf mat. And there, and you've got really easy peach trifle. That's great for summertime. Okay, one last little tip I wanna show you is, um, since we're in the deep part of summer, um, your flowers are really blooming. Um, you wanna get some flowers on the table. 
A uh, quick tip is if you look at the kind of flour you're going to be using on your table, uh, just notice the characteristics of it. Um, like these Black Eyed Susan have this nice black center to them and it reminded me of marble. So it's always good to maybe tie in something with the flour along with your vase. So I've got these black marbles here that sort of resemble the head of the flower there. So I'm just gonna pour a bunch of marbles into the vase. And this just makes a really easy arrangement, but it just gives it an added little flair using the marbles because it ties in with the flowers that you're going to be using. But see how the black of the Black Eyed Susan goes along with the vase that has the black marbles in it. But yeah, just sort of take note of what kind of flowers you're going to be using. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you'll come into the store and see what new things we have coming in. And we can also shop online at chmuseums.myshopify.com.